Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with the one inch brush, and the tiniest little bit of yellow and white. And let's just come right here and begin to quickly drop in a little bit of a sunset or sunrise. It doesn't matter. And maybe the sun's kind of off here somewhere today. And all we see is a little bit of yellow right in through here. Now, as it comes out, I'm going to touch into a little bit of black, a little bit of red. That kind of cancels, cancels out that yellow we had in there. And now I can go into a little touch of blue, make a very, very pretty soft blue color. All right, and throw that right around the yellow. Great. Scrub it in and blend it. Now with our filbert brush and a nice light orange color. Let's just begin to scrub in some beautiful little clouds up here. All right, maybe, maybe this won't be the only color we throw in these clouds. We'll have a few colors. Just sort of work this color around for a couple minutes here. And maybe, yeah, right over here, some up here maybe. I don't know, I'm just gonna throw it in wherever you want. Not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's pretty free and loose. All right, let's see. Let's, let's do some right here too. And also, I'm gonna go into a touch of brown. Brown and red, and touch of black maybe. Wipe the brush, don't want too much paint. Oh yeah, put that right. Look how that color matches. It kinda, they go together real nice. Oh, I like that. Next, with the filbert brush and a little bit of yellow and white, but mostly white. Let's just begin to, to layer on just a, a little bit of highlight, not much, not too much. See that? Just kind of give it a little, little bit of a pull and leave a little ridge of paint out on there. Just enough to kind of coat the edge. You're not looking to, to glob a lot of paint on, but you are going to have to apply it thick enough that it covers and it shows up and it's nice and bright. Oh yeah, there we go. Remember the lights off the painting and shining in like this. So kind of keep that in mind. All right. Now, as you can see, I have a, <laughs> a little basic sketch up here. Just took the filbert brush, a little bit of gray, and I just started mapping out where I thought I'd want a couple of big mountains. And then I'm just gonna start here and scrub in I'm really scrubbing this paint into the canvas. Just scrub in some of the shadow areas. Now today we're going to do a winter painting. So I'm going to leave some of this area unpainted. I'm just going to block in the shadows and maybe some rocks. If you, if you leave these areas just showing through, then it kind of looks like rocks and things that are sticking out. Remember, these are very far away. Like right in through here. Let's do some shading on this one. Gives you an idea of the sunlight, where, where things are going. You can just kind of skip around and go wherever. All right. I don't like to stay in the same place too long when I do things like this. Just skip around and make sure everything is nice and balanced. Step back. Take a good long look at it. Make sure you're happy. Then we'll go right into highlighting. Now with our filbert brush and a little bit of yellow and white. Let's just come right up here and begin to, to lay on some little bit of highlight up here. Just a little bit of snow that sits right on the top of the mountain. This is a winter scene, so there's just it's gonna be a lot of snow out here today. Definitely a lot in these big old tall mountains. All right. So you just layer this on anywhere you think a highlight would hit, the sunlight would hit because you don't want to go overboard and do the whole thing. That wouldn't look good. Instead, pick out areas and see I'm going pretty slow. You don't have to do it quick. All right. And out and through here, we would see some, we would probably see some random patches of snow like this. And a lot of this area will also get covered up with the shadows. So you don't have to don't have to worry about highlighting at all. 
now with our filbert brush, we can begin to just brush in a lot of nice little shadow areas. Just a little bit of blue and white on the brush. That's it. Nothing else. And just scrub this color in kind of randomly in the shadow areas. You wouldn't want to put it in the, don't put it in the highlight areas. And maybe up here, this a little bit further away so they can be more subtle back here. Oh yeah, nice. I like the way that looks. That really, that shadow really helps to, to pop the highlights out. It really makes it work and fit together. It's a, it's a snowy little mountain back there. That's just what we want. Next, with our filbert brush, we'll go right through a little bit of brown, red, and some white. And with that, let's just begin to do a quick underpainting here for some, for some trees, maybe some distant evergreen trees. <laughs> and also I did a little sketch, as you can clearly see. Just took the filbert brush, a little bit of black, a little bit of black paint, and just, just did a quick sketch of, maybe those are some cliffs and maybe a big rock that kind of sticks out, I don't know. We can always change our mind later. It's just for, just for ideas. If you don't like the sketch, it's super easy to, to just paint over it or, or try it again, whatever you want to do. That's why I like the sketches. They let me, they let me play around with my painting and the composition before I even am committed. All right. Next, with our filbert brush, we'll just go right through some nice light brown. It's mostly just laying around there on the palette. By now, our colors are all kind of mixed together, but that's okay because it helps to tie in all of the colors together with the painting. Anyway, it's just a nice, kind of a rusty red-brown color. I'm just gonna begin to underpaint this little cliff area here. All right, just scrub it right in. We're gonna be coming back, adding some highlights in, in just a little while. Now we can quickly underpaint the rest of this little area down here. I think this is mostly gonna just be snow. So I'm underpainting it with a nice light blue-gray color. There, just scrub it right in. And then once you're done scrubbing it in, we'll come back and put in some beautiful highlights and do a lot of details back in here. There, work it in really nice and good. Don't need too much. We want it to be very, very sparing on there. Now we can begin thinking about a few larger trees up here. So I'll just start by giving myself a little line and just gently working the brush back and forth. Of course, I'm using the filbert brush today, as you can see, but you can always use the fan. I do that all the time, use the fan brush for the trees. But since the filbert brush is right here and it had it had dark paint on it. Why not? All right. Plus it gives me a little extra control because it's, it's slightly smaller, but it has the same, same shape as the fan brush. It gives you a beautiful little limb effect. All right. Now let's begin to just drop in some beautiful highlights out here. Now there's already little light and dark variations in this cliff. So when you go to highlight, you kind of follow where you already have the highlight built in. You can already kind of see the shape of the cliffs. I'm using mostly brown, white, touch of red in it, touch of yellow in it. Reflect the colors in the sky when you do a sunset painting. Oh, it's not usually a good idea if you if you go with normal colors, instead you need to, you need to have some beautiful orange colors and gold colors and all sorts of nice things in there. Otherwise it just doesn't look right. They should be reflecting a little bit of color from the sky. It's really a, a very bright sunset. Now with some white on the filbert brush, we'll just begin to, to layer in a little bit of these nice highlights of snow here. Just snow sitting out on top of these cliffs. All right. 
This is not pure white. I put a little tiny touch of black into it just to help dull the color down. Don't want it too bright, but you can always pop it out with highlights. But first, we'll just sort of get this middle tone in. Never want just a, never want just the shadow and the highlight. It's better to have two or three, four, even five colors, depending on what you're doing. All right. Maybe some of it kind of drifts down. You just kind of can make up, make it up as you go along here. Just throw in these little patches of snow wherever you want them. We need a touch back here, but very soft. All right. While we have this brush going, we may as well just scrub in a little bit here in the foreground. Now I applied this layer so thinly, this underpaint here, very thin, so that I could easily highlight it two or three times if I wanted to. See that? Look at it, it's hardly mixing at all. Hardly mixing. You can tell there's so little because you can actually physically see the grain of the canvas when I brush over it. It's not so wet that it just slides and smears. It makes a big mess. Controlling the amount of paint on the canvas, it's very important. Next, we can begin to throw in, oh, these big, beautiful evergreen trees up here. Let me go over this one one more time. Sort of make him a little bit more, a little bit more solid. Nice. Don't get him too big, not in the background. Ooh, we'll save a little bit of a larger one here for the foreground. Let's do another one. Slightly crooked, right there. I like it. Let's go a bit thicker. All the way down there, slightly lower, one more. Another, oh, this one's gonna be big, are you ready? Here we go, right over the mountain. And that one stops in the foreground, right there. Now we're gonna begin to put some beautiful little leaves and pine needles out on these trees. But look here, I really don't want to cover up the background. That would be sad. I like that background. So I'm going to be very careful, a little bit slower, because if you go quick, you, you kind of have a tendency to go overboard sometimes. So I'm going quite slow. And I'm really thinking about where these limbs are going. I'm going to leave a lot of this trunk showing, most of it showing. And look how I'm just gently dabbing and you get that very loose Almost a soft stroke there. Do you see that? Very soft and kind of blended. I like that. Nice. Don't want to cover up that background too much. Now let's begin to drop in a little bit of highlight here on these rocks. I have the same color I was using in the background there. And I'm just, just using the knife here to rub on a little bit of highlight, not much. Just enough to show that light hitting. All right. I like that. I'm kind of tied in with the snow. Again, it's a very orange color. I want it to be a lot of, a lot of sunlight reflecting off these rocks. All right. Well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website, my DVDs, and also my brush line. And thanks for watching.